Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm bringing you guys my night routine. Usually when I get home, when I am home, because most nights I'm at Daniel's, but I've been trying to be home more often. But usually when I get home, I put my purse down and I immediately take off my shoes. But I don't like to walk on the floor with no, like with my bare feet. I don't like to walk on the floor with my bare feet because I don't know, I feel like they get dirty. So um, I'm putting on some socks right there. And of course I had to turn on some Netflix. Um, I'm currently watching Friends. I've been watching it for a couple weeks and I'm obsessed. I don't know why I didn't watch it. Um, sooner after i put my purse down and i get comfy and stuff i go to the kitchen i'm always i always come home super super thirsty and super super hungry and as of lately i've been trying to drink more water so i get a bottle of water and i try to drink most of it i usually won't finish it all like right there and then but i'll drink it all throughout the night and then i will go into the pantry and look for something to eat and you guys will see when i get in there that is the face when there is nothing to eat literally nothing so sad um but i ended up grabbing some goldfish crackers i love goldfish um and i just grabbed like a handful of that and i ate that i just snacked on that really quick So after I had a quick snack, I'm going back to my room. As you guys can see, I had quite a bit of laundry to do. Um, I've been keeping my room cleaner lately just because it's been easier to keep up with it and it's been easier to keep it clean just because I don't sleep in there anymore so I don't spend as much time in there as I would before. All I do in there is film and that is it. Um, but right there, I'm just putting away all my laundry. I love doing my laundry but when it comes to putting it away, I just can't. I really hate folding it and hanging it up. Like I just can't. Then it was time to take a bath and a shower. I don't take a bath every day, but I was using those shampoos right there from Herbal Essence. Um, and then I used that body wash from Bath and Body Works. And this razor, guys, is the Hydro Razor. You can find it at like Walgreens, Walmart. They're the best razors I've ever tried. And like I said, I was taking a bath, so I used that bath bomb. And then I used a bubble bar from Lush. I barely started getting into taking baths just because before I used to be really scared, like, to mess up my pH level and stuff so I barely ever take baths it's like very rare here and there um, but I actually really enjoyed the bath um, I try not to stay in there for too long I try not to stay in there for longer than like 30 minutes because like I said I'm too scared I'm gonna message my mess up my pH level but I just kind of chilled in there and watched some Netflix of course And now for the fun part, I have partnered up with Clean and Clear to show you guys two of their new launches. Clean and Clear was actually one of the first skincare brands that I started using. I made my parents buy me two of their face washes. So that's basically how I discovered Clean and Clear. So I thought it was super cool when they reached out to me and wanted to work with me. So they did launch two new products. Like I said, you guys, they launched a really cool eye sheet mask, which I will get into later on in the video once I use it. But they also launched this super awesome clay mask, you guys. It's a detoxifying clay mask. I like to use it like two times a week just because my skin is pretty dry. So if you have oily skin, you can probably get away with using the this clay mask uh, a lot more than I can. But it detoxifies your skin down to your pores. So if you have a lot of pores, I feel like this would be pretty good for you. Um, it gets rid of any dirt and any oils from the day because sometimes even after we take our makeup off, even after you wash your face, you guys, your face is still not clean. It's made with two different mineral clays that are specifically designed to detoxify your skin before bed. Number one thing that I love the most about this mask and I'm very careful when I say the word love um, is that it's so easy to apply most masks if you guys apply masks on a regular you guys know that most masks you have to mix something in there with them like you have to mix mix them with water mix them with something else and I'm just honestly too lazy for that I like how this mask already comes ready to go and I just apply it and I'm done I 
waited for my clay mask to do its thing. I was hungry again. So I poured myself a bowl of cereal. Um, I don't really eat cereal that much. Sometimes here and there I'll have a bowl of cereal. Um, and that night I had a bowl of cereal. And I just sat there, ate my cereal, waited for my face mask to do its thing. And I watched my friends, of course. And then once the 15 minutes were up, I just removed that with some water. I have also been using their new eye sheet mask you guys this is their night relaxing jelly eye sheet mask i have to say that i like this more than the clay mask just because my skin is so dry and i can get away with using this every single day since it is so hydrating this mask targets my under eye area where all my bags are and you guys know i barely get any sleep so it targets all my it targets where my bags are so it kind of helps depuff that area and keep it all under control and kind of like soothe my skin and soothe my bags um it has hydrogel formula which helps lock in all the ingredients and all the moisture of the mask While I let that sit on my face, I decided to organize my makeup and organize my setup for the next day because I had a whole day of filming the next day. Um, but it's been so much easier, like I said, to keep my room clean since I don't spend as much time in there. But after I organized my makeup and my setup, I just removed my mask. And as you guys can see right there, I'm pressing everything in left for the mask. And then I brushed my teeth. And at this time, I would usually take out my contacts, but I just didn't put that on camera. And then after that, I am ready for bed. So right there, what I am doing is I am sitting up my bed uh if you guys didn't know which most of you guys do know i got rid of my bed in my room just so i could have more room for my filming setup and i could have more room for my lights and that way my room won't be as crowded but i've been sleeping on the couch sometimes i sleep at daniel's but i've been trying to spend more time at my house i've been sleeping at my house more but i just kind of lay down and realistically uh, i stay up another two or three hours on netflix or just on the internet on youtube and stuff replying to comments just doing whatever you guys i just stay up procrastinating and then right there that's me fake pretending to go to sleep please give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it subscribe down below i love you guys so much and i will see you guys next time